Hi, I'm Steve Domahitty with Niner Bikes and I'm here to talk about the WFO9. I made some changes for 2011 and I want to show them to you. So there's a lot of naysayers in the 29er movement about long travel 29ers, but we here at Niner believe that this is the future. Uh, the 29 inch wheels already give you a huge stability advantage and the longer travel just makes it that much more fun to do extreme riding. The bike as it was stays pretty intact. It's still 140 millimeters of travel which is about five and a half inches. Uh, this is a long travel, all mountain, all purpose, pretty fun bike. The big news for 2011 is that RockShock is committed to a longer travel fork. So we now have a Reba with a 20 mil through axle front fork at 140 millimeters to match the rear suspension almost exactly. Uh, for 2011, we've also changed the head tube to have an inset style design instead of the previous integrated design. The new inset design does allow for a little bit more choices in headsets, including the Chris King inset headset. One of the other changes we've made due to some feedback that we've received is that we've slackened the head tube angle by a degree. So the new WF09 has a 69 degree head tube angle with a 140 millimeter travel fork. The WFO still retains its 140 millimeters of travel with our award-winning CVA suspension design. One of the best things about CVA is that it functions in all three chain rings and has no kickback to the suspension in any of those rings. The way the CVA works though is that the, the chain, which is in between the two pivots, is actually forcing the linkage to try to move apart. But this brace in the rear triangle keeps that from happening, so all of the chain torque goes directly to rear wheel movement. The options uh, for the WFO are pretty huge. We have options in uh, rear shock. You can get the RP23 with the large volume air can. You can get a DHX Air. We're also working on a Monarch from RockShock. That is a great rear shock for this bike. So that's exciting new product. Uh, the WFO remains Hammer Schmidt compatible uh, with the ISCG tabs on the bottom. And it remains compatible with a lot of different dropout configurations. You can do quick release 135, 12 millimeter Maxel 135. We're also working on a 142 option, the, the X12 142 standard and you can go to 150 12mm through axle on the WFO as well. 